Neat. Hey everyone, I'm Nate. Back to this. I haven't played this game in about 40 days. That's all I can say. So I'm just getting back into it because I want to beat this game as well as Bioshock if you guys are watching both of those. Hey oh, you're my friend. So we're going to go up to the top floor here and see what's going on. Uh, we're going to examine this big statue with the robots. Oh, we're going to ring the robot bell. Oh crap, the robots are in the way. Yeah, exactly. I said the same thing. Okay, now move the robots. Got you. <clears throat> I wonder how we move robots. I was used to playing... What's that one game? Oh, yeah, I was used to playing Red Dead when you hold uh, X, or you hold... Sorry, no, you don't hold X. What am I talking about? Yeah, you hold cross, as in the X button to run. And this one, you hold the circle button to run. So different. Open this door. Uh, if you guys don't know, we're in this hotel, and this is part 51 of this, which I'm almost done with. I just haven't played this in a freaking long time. So we're gonna eat these healths. It's all flooding back to me. We're gonna have to do these dumb puzzles like every other part of the game. But we're almost done with every game in this series, so that's cool. It's mostly flooded. Be careful that you don't shock yourself. Okay, there's only one save point, and it's right there where that Kuma is. So what we do is we carefully round this corner, shoot. That dancing kid, cross that gap, let all the Kuma say, whoa, dancing kid. Wait, or should I shoot that dancing kid? I don't know. Yeah, because then that dancing kid will attract those guys. And then I can just shock all the other ones. So I'm going to shoot that dancing kid. Got it. Okay. Hmm. What do we shoot at the dancing kid, though? Oh, crap. Oh, gosh. Yeah, I know, the kids are humping, we got this. Oh god. Oh god, why is she trying to shoot at him? There we go. Did I do it? It did! Whee! I didn't do the goal, though. That's okay. Ooh, health. Give me health. Break me up to life. Oh, I guess this person already had help. Whoopsie doodles. Oh, and then these three guard Kumas are also dead. He didn't make it. Alright, so this should open up the fun door, the this pink room. door. Does that pervert grade schooler live here? You know, Probably. The one who stole your... Virginity. I said nothing happened! Virginity! Oh, wow. More girl power. Oh, man. Ooh, what's this? Oh, it's a robot control. I want to look at the rest of this, though. This is this has to be that girl's room, though. It seriously has to. She likes strawberries and all things adorbs. Now, give me the robot controls. I said give me the robot controls. She did not want to mess with the robot controls. That was just the blue robot. The remote control. We can move the robot, right? Right. It seems dangerous to just start playing with it. Why don't you touch it? That's what she said. Alright. So I'm guessing that she's going to make the robot fall over. How about you have one robot blow up the other robot? That would be easier. Yay! The robot moved! Hooray! Let's go out this fun door. Hopefully we won't have to shoot anything. Yeah, we probably do. Oh, now we got an overlook. Or we can look over. And now we take this... Oh. Go down. Sweet, so we did have to do that puzzle, and then now we have this cool ladder up to her room. Let's go to the other room. Hooray! Why can't we just have just one robot? I mean, both of the doors aren't directly connected. So I don't know why we have to move both robots. It's like a bad Resident Evil puzzle. Any, anything sparkly or spooky over here that I should know about? That's the problem because I'm trying to find all the collectibles. Some of them are actually really well hidden. Like most games. Most video games. It's another arcade machine room. You don't say, Kamaru. I had no idea. Give me guns. Oh, it was break. What's this puzzle gonna be like? Am I gonna fail this one too and get yelled at by Shmaku? All right, destroy them all at once. Step on the switch, which opens the door, and then the bomb. Oh, God, I'm confused. Okay, this is gonna be hard. 
destroy them all at once. Well, that's a good point. Because I can move the car by boo. That's a good question. Shoot. Because he has to stand off. He has to get off the button to do that. So I guess I can kind of round the corner, distract those two idiots, then shoot the car, have it drive over here at the right time, and then shoot knockback at Mr. Ballman. But how do I shoot knockback? Oh, I guess there's the section behind him's gone. So I just have to be really careful. Okay, so stick with move at the beginning, and then, ooh, I can also link. I can also link. But do, should I link? Because I have to destroy them all with one blast. And I can't destroy them all with one blast unless uh, I do that. So I'm not going to use Link. I think that's just there to confuse me. So I'll do what I said. Or I can move that Kuma, like, right there. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll Link that Kuma there. So we'll go to Link. We're going to link this Kuma. He's my bro. And he's just going to walk right over here. He's not gonna know what's going on until I do this. I do this. I do this. Okay. Now we're gonna go to move. I'm gonna be really cautious. We're gonna drop all these cities. And then we're going to move the car. What the hell? Okay, I don't know how I'm going to do this. I'm going to try to knock him back. Because that guy's not distracted. Oh, great. Sorry. I don't know how I'm going to kill the other guy, though. Okay, there you go. I killed them. Alright, I still have to kill this idiot, though. Which I totally can. I have to go to knock back and do this. So I didn't get the bonus, which sucks, but I killed everyone and I didn't die, and that's what's important. And now there's a car blocking my way. Who just has a car in their house? I don't think anybody does. Good job, kid. I don't think anybody should have... Wait, no, that's a lie. Classic Game Room has a El Camino in his house. In his game room. Classic Game Room. Whose house is this? this looks like the room of that mask kid. Probably. Tables everywhere. It smells like paint thinner. Yeah, because he was huffing paint, paint thinner. thinner. What no a nice... That's supposed to be Junko. Yes, it is. That's awesome. I like that painting. I would hang that in my house. Does he have anything on his bed? No. He just has a key item. Does he have anything on his shelves over here? It's a funny detail. No funny details over here. Are those supposed to be women? Those legs are much as a pervert. I think those are all... Yeah, those are all scantily clad women. I'm pretty sure. Those have to be. Stop freaking out, Taco. We got the other robot control. Now Blue Robot is out of the way. Boom. And we're almost done with Chapter 5. Ain't we? Now we can open the door. Yes, I know how things work, Toka. Er, dang it. Freaking Komaru. It's such a creepy room, though. Open. Open says a me. See, bun. And open the hatch. Hatch. There you go. Hatch open. Down ladder. You can take the stairs. There you go, pick this shit up. Shouldn't have had him. There's so much I can do if my son didn't exist. Wow, it's dark. So much I could do if I never had him. I could have obtained qualifications and licenses, taken lessons, worked more. Instead, my entire life is just a platform for my son's life. I think about it every night before I go to sleep. If I woke up in the morning and my son was dead, how splendid would that be? It's horrible. But every time I wake up and see him, I sigh. Why are you still alive? Why do you have a normal life? Uh, I yearn for the day he stops being healthy and stops growing and just disappears. That's all I want. Why can't you just do something simple for me? I want him to die so badly it makes me cry, and the fact that he's such a worthless face just makes me even more sad. It makes me think I'm the one who's wrong. I shouldn't have had him. You're a jerk, whoever that wrote that. And I see another shiny next to the other robot, so I'm gonna get that real quick. Ugh, for the sake of my daughter. Her thing is worth like eight times more than mine, younger women. What? Are we talking about her crotch? Uh, I hope not. Thing is, poor bitch doesn't understand she's worth more the younger she is. Okay, never mind. 
Uh, if you're looking at cost effectiveness, you gotta sell it when you're still young. But it's a waste of time telling a 10 year old any of that, I guess. That's why mommy has to sell it for you. I'll sell it with you, as a set. Even if you cry and say it hurts or it's too scary, the men still pay. Sometimes they even pay more. Even tears, tears have value. Being young is a horrifying thing. It's not like I want money. It's not like I want to entrust my dream to my daughter. It's not that I'm a pervert. I do all this, all of this for the love of my child, to do it for her sake, so she can sparkle forever no matter how much she hates me or how much society will beat me up for it. I know my actions are right. It's the parent's job to shine the spotlight. Creepy. So that was that was the uh, note of Perv Girls thing, and that was the note of Art Kids thing. So, oh yeah, I'm not supposed to open it there. I'm supposed to open it with the big button. Big button, go! I've got the big button. Nice. You've now got Jurassic. Five, five, four, four, four. After all this, they're still playing games. Yep, they're still doing puzzles. I hate Valve puzzles. We into the void. What's behind the void, everybody? More void. Another robot. An oh my God, is this the same? Oh. There's no way it would end with those two robots from earlier. Not with these developers. I got your joke, Taco. You made a big funny. I'm gonna save really quick, just in case, just to prove it's been a long time since I played. Hey, oh, look at that. Nine eleven is when I played last. That's a long ass time. There you go. And we saved. I agree, Kamaro. Mm-hmm. Cool. All right. So we're gonna go back up to the top. I do. There's a mono mono machine too. So this is just gonna be really hard puzzles up until the final boss is what I'm predicting. So we'll go to the left door first. That was a lot of burn bullets. Did you see how many burn bullets it gave us? Like sixty. It's that arcade machine again. Yep. Let's get a move on. I'm working on it. Okay, let's see. Let's see what this puzzle's all about. See what its crown and jewel is. Is that even a thing? Four aberrant monokumas. We might be able to defeat them in one go if we get the right angle. Oh my god. You see what we have to do? We have to lure them with- we have to... I hate the stupid junk Kumas, they're doing loops. So I have to quickly run in, shoot that car, that car, that car, and that car. Oh my god. I'm gonna have a really bad score, just so I can shoot that car and wipe them all out when they're all in a line. Okay. Got it. Okay, so what we do is we shoot that car. Uh, that car. That car. And then we wait for them to be in a line. They're in a line right now, but I'm gonna wait. Go do your loop, Kumas. Do your stupid loop. There you go. They're moving slowly. Their arms are clipping a little bit. But they're moving. They know what's up. They have the shittiest pattern I have ever seen. There you go, there's the tail end guy. He's finally doing a looper duper. Okay, here's the leader again. Wait till he stops. There you go. And... Come on! Get him! Yeah! Woo! That was a good one. That was an easy puzzle. Get me up in there. Did they drop anything even, or did they just all combust? What? They all come busted. What a load of butt. That was a, like the easiest puzzle I've experienced in a while. Idiot must live here. Yeah. This room reeks of insecurity and overcompensation. And giant sports balls hanging from the ceiling. What the hell? What's this on the ground? Whoa. Masairu Diamond's diary. I mean party. I mean diary. Beware of being the underdog. Warriors of Hope Leader. Your class name... Lord Masaru Diamond. Hey -o. no doubt about it, Monica is the best. Everyone's an ally. Brain rinse? What the hell does brain rinse mean? Just, just, oh, there you go. Just trust Monica and even brain rinsing is easy as pie. As long as you wear that Monokuma head, everyone's her ally. If this keeps up, the paradise will be completed in no time. 
And when that happens, it'll bring, or I'll bring peace to the entire world next. Okay, you do that, kid. Toko, about this brain rinse part. Yeah, it's literally when you take someone's brain out of their skull and you just scrub it down. Brainwash? Huh? Brainwashing? Does that really exist? Yes, it does in this I've universe. Seen that in science fiction. In this universe. No, that level of technology was developed long ago. It's crazy, technology right? Technology like that can't exactly be advertised to the public, can it? Yeah, well, yeah, I can actually. I figured this was the case. Well, it's the not the case, Taco. The made the other kids wear those helmet things to brainwash them. Makes sense. That's even more reason we gotta stop the adults from fighting the children. Boom. I mean, if they were under mind control, they aren't really to blame at all. Right? Right. I know how you feel, but... But you're wrong. Huh? Oh, so sorry, sorry. What do you mean? I know that you're growing, but... I have a bad feeling about this. Okay. The way you've grown... Uh, I feel like this whole situation has been a setup. No. Setup? By who? By your bro. The one who teamed up with that white-haired guy. Trying to bring you all the way here. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Here you are. Right in the kid's HQ. It's exactly as that person planned. What, Nagito Burrito? If that's true, if I just run away, I can't do anything about this war, right? Correct. Uh, right, but... But still. It's going to be all right. You can tell because of all the I happy musical notes she's was, had over her head. Why they're doing this, but... Oh, as long as we stop this violence, nothing else matters. Well, every ending of every game in this franchise has been a mindfuck, so You're probably right. not well. We've come this far. Only thing to do now is believe in ourselves and go for it. And believe. You're really starting to sound like him now. Oh man, just like Burrito? <laughs> you think so? Like burrito or like your brother? Don't blush. Ugh, it's just like I said. There you go. Brother complex. As is like Makoto, sorry. So, just like Makoto. And on the next installment of this, we're gonna open up the other door. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to see you guys in the next Bro Complex.